While all systems suffer from fragmentation, virtual machines suffer two times as much, happening at both the host and guest levels. But don't just take my word for this. Here's what Microsoft's Director of Virtualization Products had to say. Disk fragmentation can be worse in virtualized environments because physical drives serve multiple OSs and applications. This is known as fragmentation on top of fragmentation, and the bottleneck can be significant. Currently, most IT managers use VMware, but Hyper-V is rapidly gaining ground. Either way, most IT managers are going virtual for A, power consumption savings, and B, hardware consolidation. And virtualization does deliver there, but think about this. Consolidating four or five servers into one means four to five times the I.O. traffic and four to five times the fragmentation levels. In other words, that single storage device is now forced to work overtime. This means performance bottlenecks, so you need to defrag those VMs, but not a traditional defrag. The reason is technologies like snapshots, differencing virtual disks, and thin provisioning can cause unnecessary storing and processing of data. But more importantly, guest operating systems typically share the same I.O. channels and storage systems, so they're completely unaware of what the host is doing. This means competition for resources since one guest is not aware of the others, and that requires a special solution. We work with Microsoft and VMware to create a new product called Velocity. This was the first ever virtual platform optimizer. Velocity invisibly defrags the fragmentation on top of fragmentation found in the virtual space and it fully synchronizes the complex and ongoing activity that takes place between the host and multiple guest OS's. This eliminates virtual disk I.O. bottleneck, something that no freebie or built-in defragmenter can do. So whether you're running VMware ESX or Hyper-V, you've got fragmentation at the host and multiple guest OS's, and you need to get rid of it.